One of the world's largest car manufacturers says that it has solid state batteries it plans to put in its electric cars very soon. In fact, next year. This is coming as quite a shock to a lot of people. I mean, not many, not many people knew that Hyundai had their own solid state batteries. Is this potentially actually Samsung solid state batteries they're talking about here? Well, apparently not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you with us. Guys, if you'd like to, I highly recommend buying an EV. That's what this channel is all about. Getting solar installed. I have an Xpeng G6 and I charge my EV every day using solar from Resync Solar. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're in Australia, I recommend those two options. Saves you a lot of money. Now, Hyundai plans to launch a pilot production of game-changing EV batteries this year. Bit of a surprise. I mean, the big talkers, Toyota has been talking about solid state batteries relentlessly since 2012. They've said that they have pilot production solid state batteries ready in 2015, I think it was. They said that their EVs in 2018 would have solid state batteries. Hyundai just said nothing, very quiet. Nissan, big claims as well. Uh, Honda, big claims as well. But Hyundai just quietly was actually doing something rather than talking about it. It sounds like anyway, which is quite awesome. So what do we know about these batteries? Well, first of all, solid state batteries have the potential to have around 10 times higher energy density than traditional lithium ion batteries. Hyundai are accelerating their push into next generation electric vehicle technology. And if they do in fact have the solid state batteries that they say they do, then this is unquestionably a game changer for them because I'll be first to the first to market. To be fair though, Samsung, they are currently um, testing their solid state batteries in some different EVs from different manufacturers. They're on the roads today. So you may, you will have options if you're a car maker to buy those batteries from Samsung. Hyundai are finalizing preparations at their cutting edge next generation battery research center located at the Ul Wang Research Institute in South Korea. The installation of production equipment at the facility is apparently nearly finalized with only the logistics automation infrastructure remaining to be completed. Notably, full-scale operations at the facility are projected to commence um, basically now, in January of 2025. The timeline aligns with Hyundai's objective of introducing EVs equipped with these advanced batteries by 2025 and initiating mass production by 2030. So mass production is still a long way away. We're still looking at five years from today. What does that mean until then? Will Hyundai have... EVs with solid state batteries. Well, I think they will, but I think it'll be like their, you know, their premium version of their cars. I'm assuming the first models that will come out in would be around about 2027. That would be my guess. And it would only be on their most expensive models where, you know, you're paying more to get a thousand kilometers of range or 600 plus miles of range. But this is certainly an interesting thing here for Hyundai. And I, I hope that these batteries are going to be as good as what they sound like they could be. Solid state batteries will revolutionize EV technology, but there are some real strong competition to solid state batteries. Some batteries, for example, that are not solid state, but have similar energy density to solid state batteries are already here, for example, from other manufacturers. Unlike conventional lithium ion batteries that employ a liquid electrolyte, a solid state battery utilizes a solid material. Now there's really three different types of solid state batteries that are currently being manufactured. There's small changes to those batteries, but really there's three different types. And I'll talk about those in a separate video. The key difference significantly reduce, mitigates the risk of fire or explosion. So because there was no liquid electrolyte, fires are much, much, much less likely apparently. And that will be, I think, a big positive. It could mean that if you're involved in a crash, basically your vehicle is just never gonna catch fire. That is a possibility. The higher energy density of solid state batteries translates to increased driving range and improved overall performance for EVs. Now, manufacturers, uh, solid state battery manufacturers have been saying for years now that the big advantage of solid state batteries is not, the, not necessarily the much higher energy density potential, but the faster charging speeds. In theory, you should have the charge in around five minutes. But we've already seen batteries from New companies, uh, Cadle and Zika, or I should say Geely, 
and even others that can now charge in around 10 minutes. So by the time solid state batteries hit the market, the charging speed is gonna be great, but it's not gonna be a big difference really between already very, very impressive batteries that can charge it up to 900 kilowatt that we're seeing in China. Hyundai plans to integrate prototypes from this pilot line into their EVs for testing this year, or I should say in 2025, including real world driving evaluations. Notably, the EV industry though has witnessed several developments related to all solid state batteries in recent months. So what are these developments? Well, interesting engineering says, the Mercedes-backed factorial energy has achieved a huge milestone in all solid state batteries. They have scaled their solstice battery cells to a capacity of 40 amp hours. This development could make battery cells ready for commercialization sooner than projected. I would say that maybe, you know, taking a little bit longer to get to market than what I thought they would. As per factorial energy, it's all solid state batteries could offer an energy density of around 450 watt hours per kilogram. And this would give an EV battery pack, a standard size battery pack, say something like a 70, 80, 90 kilowatt hour pack, around about 600 miles of range, depending on the size of the vehicle. So around about a thousand kilometers of range. Now, is that energy density outstanding? It's not at all, unfortunately. 450 watt hours per kilogram is still great. I mean, it's still double that of lithium ion phosphate batteries. But I mean, CATL already has their condensed battery, which is already on the market now. You can buy it and it has an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram and it's not even solid state. So by the time factorial energy get these solid state batteries to market, they probably will be a bit behind. So that's why I haven't, guys, I actually got an email today. Why have you not been talking about factorial energy? That's why. They're not really market leading. It's not really all that interesting, to be honest. Now, what about Honda, Honda making some bold claims. They have revealed their first demonstration production line for solid state batteries. Apparently operations on the demo line will begin in January, 2025. Honda is aligning with its target to launch EVs equipped with solid state batteries in the second half of the 2020s. Whatever the hell that means, that could mean 2026, could mean 2029, could mean 2030. No idea with Honda. To tell you the truth, I'm not confident that Honda has anything real. Usually when Hyundai talk about stuff, when Cadel talk about things, BYD, they have something real and they really will bring it to market. I'm not, I'm not confident Honda has anything that uh, is gonna happen anytime soon. Do you agree? What do you guys think? Let me know what you think about that. CATL have increased their investment in solid state battery technology and reports say the company is planning to achieve volume production of their solid state batteries by 2027. And this is the company most likely worldwide to actually produce real batteries at scale, solid state batteries at scale, within the next couple of years. Let's be honest, uh, these guys are the battery kings. They have the most impressive batteries in the world. Well, the only other battery that really competes with them, I think right now, is the battery from Geely, their golden brick battery. That is probably maybe the best battery in the world today. And that's currently in production. It's not a mythical battery. You can buy EVs with that battery. Those EVs will charge at 600 kilowatt in the real world. They'll charge in 10 minutes and they have very high energy density, around 250 watt hours per kilogram, which means they are their highest energy density LFP batteries in the world. And that's really where we're at today, I think. Solid state batteries are gaining traction though, not only in the EV industry, but also in aviation. Apparently, a lot of air companies are planning to use them. Recently, a Chinese company called Ehang completed the world's first test flight of a pilotless passenger carrying EV toll powered by a solid state battery. And CATL have shown a video of a commercial jumbo jet using their condensed battery. At an energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram, it is easily good enough for basically commercial aircraft to begin using batteries instead of jet fuel, which is huge. Amid these developments, Hyundai's investment in all solid state battery technology could boost the EV industry's growth. There's certainly a lot of excitement around EVs at the moment. Battery technology is changing fast. The cost of batteries continues to fall. Charging speeds continue to rise. Guys, I mean, this is 2024, right? It's the end of 2024. Imagine what conversation we'll be having in 10 years. Imagine what we're gonna be saying. Remember back in 2024, you know, things were good, but 
they kind of suck in comparison to today. Imagine getting an EV from 2024. I mean, in 10 years time, this technology is gonna be just out of this world. And as investments continue to flow into battery technology at a record pace, as we see more and more money flow into the sector, as we see better and better artificial intelligence, better and better supercomputers that are able to find the bit, work out the best chemistries and to be able to fast forward the development progress, electric cars are just going to destroy internal combustion. I think predictions of 90 to 95% EV adoption worldwide by 2030 made by people like Christopher Meader from EV Curve and also Tony Sieba, I think those predictions are fairly accurate. Hyundai's pilot production line is a step in the right direction. They've still got a long way to go. I mean, don't get too carried away just yet, but it's great to see more and more companies are working on these batteries, investing in this technology. Honestly, the electric cars that our kids are gonna be driving around, well, assuming it's still legal to drive around, when we have kids old enough, I mean, I don't know if you do or not, but I'm, I'm probably thinking my, my children, my boy, the youngest one, he's eight, the other one, he's 11. By the time they can get a license, the cars are going to be incredible. And yes, by the time they're 18, there will definitely be EVs with solid state batteries.